नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम्स यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग एंड द हाईलाइट ऑफ द ब्रीफिंग इज द एक्टिव मानसून कंडीशन वेरी लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ओवर द वेस्ट कोस्ट एंड ओवर द वेस्ट सेंट्रल इंडिया ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट टू टू थ्री डेज एंड इफ यू लुक फॉर द ऑब्जर्ट वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स देन इस्टरडे हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल अकर्ड ओवर सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द सेंट्रल इंडिया एंड हैवी रेनफॉल अकर्ड ओवर सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया मेनली ओवर द उत्तर प्रदेश उत्तराखंड हरियाणा राजस्थान एंड हैवी टू वेरी हैवी rainfall also occurred over the sikkim meghalaya tripura and gangetic west bengal over the west india have to very heavy rainfall occurred over the gujarat state konkan and goa कोस्टल कर्नाटका एंड केरला इस्टरडे एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल आल्सो अगर्ड ओवर द ईस्ट मध्य प्रदेश एंड ओवर द कोकन इफ यू लुक फॉर द रेनफॉल अमाउंट देन ओवर द कोकन मैक्सिमम 25 सेंटीमीटर रेनफॉल वाज रिकॉर्डेड इन द पालगढ़ डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड ओवर द मुंबई सिटी मैक्सिमम 15 सेंटीमीटर रेनफॉल वाज रिकॉर्डेड इन द कोलावा ऑब्जर्वेटरी एंड सिमिलरली 12 सेंटीमीटर रेनफॉल वाज रिकॉर्डेड इन द सांता क्रूज ऑब्जर्वेटरी ओवर द ईस्ट मध्य प्रदेश मैक्सिमम ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर रेनफॉल वाज रिकॉर्डेड इन पन्ना stick over the west madhya pradesh maximum 16 cm rainfall similarly over the gujarat region maximum 17 and over saurashtra maximum 18 cm rainfall was recorded in the dew and if you look for the uh, southwest monsoon then this blue color line represents the actual area up to which the mon- southwest monsoon has uh, reached so as we can see most parts of the country has been covered by the southwest monsoon only uh, some uh, very only some parts of the northwest rajasthan and adjoining haryana and punjab is left and the atmospheric conditions are becoming favorable uh, to cover the remaining parts of the northwest rajasthan remaining parts of the haryana and punjab during next two days and if you look for the today main chief synoptic features so today the low pressure area which lies over the northern parts of the madhya pradesh and a trough which runs from the rajasthan madhya pradesh jharkhand west bengal meghalaya and this trough goes up to the nagaland because of this cyclonic circulation over the madhya pradesh and the trough moderate to intense convection can be seen mainly over the madhya pradesh and some parts of the uttar pradesh some parts of the uh, uh, east rajasthan some parts of the chatisgarh and similarly because of this trough which goes up to the nagaland moderate to intense convection can be seen mainly over the tripura meghalaya western parts of the assam and some parts of the sub himalayan west bengal and sikkim over the west india an offshore trough which basically runs from maharashtra coast up to the kerala coast and uh, Uh, over the north east arabian sea uh, close to the gujarat coast a cyclonic circulation also lies over that region so because of this trough and the cyclonic circulation moderate to intense convection can be seen over all along the west coast and over the some parts of the interior maharashtra and interior parts of the gujarat as well if you look for the weather forecast for the next 5 days so because of the low pressure area and because of the active monsoon trough heavy to very heavy rainfall activity uh, mainly over the madhya pradesh over the east rajasthan on today and uh, tomorrow the only heavy rainfall is likely over the madhya pradesh and uh, very heavy rainfall is likely to continue over the east rajasthan so we have given the uh, orange color warning for the east rajasthan for the next two days for the madhya pradesh for next 24 hours and heavy to very heavy rainfall is also likely over the gujarat region uh, for two days that is for 29th and 30th of june so we have given the orange color warning for the gujarat region and isolated heavy rainfall is likely over the saurashtra and kutch on tomorrow and isolated very heavy rainfall on today from 1st of june uh, the rainfall activity will decrease over the most parts of the central india only the light rainfall activity will continue so there will not be any significant weather over the central india from 1st of july onwards so we have not given any warning over the region if we look for the maharashtra then have to very heavy rainfall very likely to continue mainly over the konkan goa and adjoining areas of the madhya maharashtra for the next 5 days and we have given the orange color warning for the konkan and goa and madhya maharashtra for today tomorrow and day after tomorrow thereafter we have given only yellow color warning over the south peninsula of india only the isolated heavy rainfall at one or two places is likely over the coastal karnataka and over the kerala during next 5 days and from 3rd of july the rainfall 
activity will increase over the south peninsula of India. So we have given the isolated heavy rainfall warning in the yellow color over the coastal Andhra Pradesh, over the south interior Karnataka and Tamil Nadu from 33rd of July onwards. Over the north east India, heavy to very heavy rainfall very likely to continue mainly over the Meghalaya, over the some parts of the west Assam and over the Tripura and some parts of the Arachal Pradesh and some parts of the sub Himalayan west Bangar and Sikkim during next five days. We have given the orange color warning for the Assam and Meghalaya for the next five days and we have also given the orange color warning mainly for the Arunachal Pradesh for 2nd of July and 3rd of July. Over the North India, heavy rainfall activity will continue mainly over the Haryana, Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh and over the West Rajasthan for the next two days. Orange color warning is given for all those areas. From 1st of July, there will not be any significant weather over the North India. Only light rainfall activity at one or two places will continue. And isolated extremely heavy rainfall is also likely over the at one or two places over the Konkan, mainly over the northern parts of the Konkan and over the Gujarat region for today. And because of the isolated extremely heavy rainfall over the mainly over the Meghalaya, Konkan and Gujarat region, uh, there is a possibility, uh, there is a possibility of occasional reduction in visibility due to the very heavy rainfall over the region. There also can be the localized flooding of the roads over those areas. There is a possibility of minor damage to the vulnerable structures and there also can be possibility of of traffic disruptions um, uh, over the cities uh, on those particular regions and there is a possibility of partial damage to the horticulture and the standing crops and there is also possibility of the landslide or the mudslide mainly over the hilly areas of those regions because of the extremely heavy rainfall particularly over the Meghalaya northern parts of the Konkan and some parts of the Gujarat region. So because of these impacts, we are providing some kind of advisories before, uh, just like, uh, just before leaving your home, just check for any traffic traffic advisories in your region and don't stay and do, uh, in any vulnerable structure and avoid travel if possible. For more detailed uh, weather information, you can also visit the IMD website. You can visit the Facebook page, YouTube channel and Twitter page of the India Meteorological Department. Thank you.